Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm here to introduce you how to use Plex Media Server to stream your videos and digital contents from your NAS. Plex Media Server is used to host the content and plugins that are then streamed to Plex Media Center, either on your mobile phone, TV, smart TV, or through a streaming device, such as Roku. Plex is a media management program that takes your entire collection of movies, music, and still images stored on your computer or in this scenario, your NAS, and present it in an organized package and interface right on your screen. It scans through your media folders and directories, then automatically downloads meta file for each file in your collection. When you use Plex and browse through your media library, you'll see movies, TV show synopsis, cast information, and even more movie posters then also some TV show theme songs. Plex Media Server can stream your media to your remote devices such as your PC, smartphones, and tablets. The software supports automatic transcoding, so you don't have to worry about whether your Roku or your iPhone can play a particular file format. If it can't, Plex Media Server will automatically transcode it to a format that the device can play, as the media streams to reduce bandwidth requirement for the compatibility of the device. In this diagram, you will see the relationship between the NAS and the Plex Media Server. Plex Media Server is used to host content and plugins that are in the same local network. With the QDAM NAS, once Plex is installed, it will then index all of your digital files on your NAS and directly stream it off to the Plex client, such as your phone, tablets, and smart TVs. Remember, Plex Media Server can be configured to index content in any directory or folders to the NAS and host it. Now for the demo. Go on to the search bar and search Plex. If you don't know how to download, simply click Add to QTS button and it will automatically start downloading. Press Launch and you'll get to the Plex homepage. And be sure to select your own media server, which is your NAS. Then select the category you want to upload. Simply find your data and categorize it. Plex will automatically upload all the files in there, even if you have added new files. After you have organized it, you can just double click the file and it'll start playing. It's that easy. Right now you can see that I can sign in with my own username if I used to have a Plex account or I can just use the default which will show all the movies and your music and your photos right on the library. And I'm going to select add and I'm going to select my mass and my category what I want to use. So I have another category of movies. I can add a folder from your NAS. When I press this browse folder, it will show you all of my folders in my NAS. So I will select which folder that it wants to index and it will automatically start downloading and preloading it to the library. So you can see right here, it's actually loading. It takes some time. Another convenient way to search your movies and your digital content is the search bar. Just type in the name and it will show up. So all of this I'm showing you is the web interface of Plex. Be sure to use the web interface to organize your files so then you will have a very much organized library on your TV. Now I'm going to show you how to use Plex on a smart TV. So now I'm using an LG smart TV. And in the input list, you can see it already found Plex media server through the network. Remember, you can always use a media streaming player such as a Roku or another type of smart TV from Samsung or Google. Now you can see I can browse through my library very easily. And I'm in my movies folder and it shows all the movies that are loaded in my NAS. As you can see, it is very organized as Plex finds every movie cover and descriptions from the web. It looks like an iTunes library. All my movies can be categorized and according to its ear produced, director, genre, and more. So if you were to have hundreds of movies, you can easily find the one you want to watch. I'm going to select a movie for you to see the streaming and video quality. As you can see, it's very clear and it has no lag. So without having to connect to your computer, you can stream all of your movies right to your smart TV, just with the Plex Media Server built into your NAS. But if you don't have a smart TV, you can use a Roku and you can download the Plex app and it can search your NAS and stream from there. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video and please feel free to comment or ask any questions.